In this next clip, we are gonna break down a dominator that we ran. It was a bit windy as you can tell. So we decided to play a little bit more small ball dominator style and uh, we're able to eventually work our way up the field and punch it in for a score. So we will show you that and then we'll break it down. Okay, so I'm just going to start the video back from after the first pick was called. So I have the disc here. As you can see, we have three people that are going to be working the Dominator. Everyone else is pushed pretty far back uh, out of picture. And I'll just point out a handful of things during this point that I thought were interesting and worth noting. So as you can see, again with these dominators, what they often look like is just sort of triangle shifting. So we go from this triangle here, and when Charles Weinberg makes his first move, the triangle is going to shift because he is going through the middle. He's sort of on the outside here, he's going to slash the middle and change the angle of attack and sort of mimic sort of a triangle offense. So as you can see, when Charles made that first move, our triangle shifted and it now looks like this with Ryan sitting out in isolation. So the reason dominators are so effective, especially on this wide ADL field, is the defense really cannot hide. And the first thing that I'm noticing as this dump is that my defender is playing me relatively tight which i think is really the right move because if my defender sags off into the lane right here charles would have an easy dump to me and a field switch to ryan because ryan's defender is orbited on the open side of him so because of this my defender has to play me tight which can oftentimes lead to an easy upline force side if i get the first step You'll notice that this is a very similar motion to the one we just ran. Me and Charles have traded places, and I'm going to now slash through the middle of the triangle. Once I get the disc up line here, Ryan does a great job of leveraging his momentum and countering to the open side. His defender is a step slow by overcompensating to the break side. And looking back, I probably should have hit this throw to Ryan. I think it was still a bit windy and the throw must have felt uncomfortable. And I also noticed that Charles's defender was playing a bit off and giving the free swing, which is never a bad thing. As I hit that swing, Saul does a great job of clearing and leaving space for Ryan to counter it and move into it. And once again, we found ourselves in a new triangle formation. Similar to the last sequence, Ryan is gonna look me off up line because the wind is a little bit too tight and he's gonna dump the disc back to Charles. After that happens, I'm gonna counter my momentum and take advantage of my defender over pursuing to open up an easy open side up line. Once we get past half field is usually when we want to try to fall out of the dominator set a bit more. 
and Benny does a great job of taking advantage of his defender being in a bad position. After having some success going up line multiple times at this point, I decide to once again try to take advantage. I decide to try it again and take advantage of my defender's hips and shoulders being too committed face towards me. I'm able to win the inside shoulder, get the up line, and quickly dump it back to the middle of the field. Right here, I try to get open one more time. But me and my teammate have a little bit of a miscommunication where he's trying to dump the disc while I'm trying to go up line. I notice a bit late and try to counteract my momentum and we're able to get a dump back while we lose about 10 yards. By this point, I know that me, Ryan, and Charles are pretty tired, but I also know that our defenders are even more tired trying to chase us around. So we're able to generate a lot of separation by the end. Right here, Ryan and I are going to try to give a give go, with Ryan noticing that his defender is over pursued to the break side, and these two defenders are going to try and execute a switch. Ryan's going to counteract that by dumping it to me and splitting, splitting the difference right between the two defenders. And one last time, I'm going to take advantage of my defender's hips being parallel to the sideline and make a move to win that inside shoulder to get up line one last time. Once I get the disc, Elliot does a great job of stopping and getting into a position that's really difficult to guard. He also seals off his defender with his shoulder and makes a little hop cut to get separation on the first step and get open on the open side. And to finish out the point, Ryan is just going to take advantage of his defender being incredibly tired and win one last foot race for the score.